In this lab, we're going to make large unilamellar vesicles, LUV. They're liposomes. They consist of a single bilayer encapsulating water. That can be shown in cartoon structure here. Uh, they're made up of phospholipids, which have two nonpolar tails and a polar head, schematized in this little mini cartoon in which we have a circle and two lines coming out of it. Uh, what we're going to do is take phospholipid, a mixture of phosphatidylcholine and ethanolamine, put it in phosphate buffered saline, which is a little aqueous space uh, buffer, and vortex it vigorously, and we're going to create not vesicles that have a single layer, but multiple lamellar vesicles of various sizes, and hence polydispersity. These MLVs are quite light. They scatter light. That's why this uh, mixture looks turbid. We're then going to carry out a series of freeze-thaw steps that will fracture these and create smaller and smaller vesicles. There are still multiple lamellar vesicles. In the next step, we're going to take these MLVs, the multiple lamellar vesicles, and uh, pass them through a membrane that has pores of approximately 200 nanometers in a device cord called an extruder. You simply push on the syringe that pushes these MLVs through and magically converts them to large unilamellar vesicles. The polydispersity should be low compared to the initial MLV mixture, and the diameter should be about 200 nanometers. And you'll test measure the polydispersity in the side using dynamic light scattering as a way to determine that. Just to give you an understanding of the relative size of these, we can make small unilamellar vesicles, about 50 nanometers in size and diameter, uh, and that's shown relatively here in, in contrast to the nuclear pore that goes through the nuclear membrane. Um, the, the large ones we're making at 200 nanometers, about the size of a lysosome, and, and about the, uh, twice the size of HIV virus. And of course, contrast this to a small bacterial cell like E. coli, which is 2,000 nanometers in diameter, or mitochondria, 3,000 nanometers in diameter, and of course, uh, large human cells, which are much larger than that.